What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out here on Leighton Lakes doing some more whitetail grinding. I got them coming. Jeez, I got a nice buck there. I gotta be careful. <laughs> I was just waiting for these guys to come into this drink zone. And uh, right when I started doing my intro, they started moseying on in from the top of that hill. But anyways, we're back here on Leighton Lakes, continuing the whitetail grind. But in this video, I want to talk a little bit more about New Zealand, uh, a couple of species in particular that uh, I've been kind of having conversations about in my streams, and I just wanted to touch on it a little bit more, see what everybody thinks, see what everybody's hoping and expecting for the new map on this topic. And uh, But before we get into that, if you do like this video, please do leave a thumbs up on it. I really appreciate it. It really does help the channel quite a bit. If you're new or you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing that. I do stream every day, seven days a week. I also post videos four or five times a week, so lots of good content coming. We also have Discord, and I have memberships on the channel here. Would also love to see you guys in the Discord, so consider joining that. And uh, yeah, but pretty much, let's hop into this. I'm going to let these whitetail settle in. So we got a couple bucks coming in. Got a pretty nice looking buck there, 125 to 172, 140 to 187 there as well, and then that little 148 to 196 is probably going to score on the lower side of that estimate. But what I do want to talk about is, so New Zealand is coming guys, it's pretty much confirmed that we are going to have red deer and seek a deer based on what we've seen from the clues and the teaser trailer and all that stuff, but what I really want to talk about is... There's been a lot of talk about the possibility of fallow deer on a New Zealand map, but as well as these guys, white-tailed deer. What would you guys rather see? If we have to choose, I mean, we might get both. We might get a deer-heavy map and end up with, you know, four or five deer species on a New Zealand map. Up until now, I think, I don't think any of the maps have had more than two species of deer. You got black-tail and white-tail here on Leighton Lakes. Axis deer, mule deer on Parquet. Siberian musk deer on Medved, just the one. Uh, mule deer are the only one on Silver Ridge Peaks. I'm going to go ahead and shoot these guys. I'm going to take probably these two bucks on the right. Let's do that real quick. Okay, well, we got three. So that is good. But yeah, I have started my, my great one grind, finally. Something I've wanted to do for a long time. But yeah, so, I mean, it's something that I have put quite a bit of thought into. Fallow or whitetail, what would I rather see? I love both species. I would love to see both of these species on another map. Both of them are only on one currently. So we're looking at a possible second map for both species. Now, the pros and cons, and basically the one thing that I would be, that would sway me in one way or another, would be, I love hunting fallow deer. I really do, and I never really get to do that because I'm just, my personal preference... I'm not a big fan of Hurstfelden. I don't really like hunting on that map. Um, but let's pick these guys up here real quick. 156.9. Very cool. Very cool. 165.6. So that's amazing. It's always good when you get three bucks down. 154.6. It's kind of the goal. Let's head over here because I haven't been here in a long time. And I do have a zone here that had a huge buck in it actually last time I was here. I think it went up to like 272. But um, fallow deer or whitetail. Uh, so basically for me, if I had to pick one, I think I would pick fallow deer. Just because I already love hunting whitetail on Leighton Lakes. And I really want to hunt uh, fallow deer again. Now the other side to that argument is, well, I'm grinding for a great one. And it would be amazing to be able to do that on two maps. The last time I had whitetail here in my herd, where were they? They were right up here. I think they're just not here yet. Let's try going somewhere else. So, yeah. So we'll go and check Mushroom Lake here. That's where we're going to head. Uh, yeah, I think I would pick Fallow Deer. I really, I really do. And uh, the other thing that goes along with that is we are going to be getting another great one soon. And there is a chance that it could be Fallow Deer. I'm kind of expecting it to be Red Deer uh, if we're going to get on that topic. Uh, I'm kind of expecting Red Deer or Mule Deer. But it could be Fallow Deer. People love Fallow Deer. And I, I just feel like... A New Zealand map without fallow deer, it would be a shame. Uh, another thing to think about is, you know, we're getting a New Zealand map now, so the possibility of the next map being 
uh, probably a North American map probably isn't super far fetched. And the chances of having Whitetail on a North American map are, are pretty high. The chances of us seeing another map that could have Fallow Deer in the near future, uh, not, not super great. So I don't know. I can't see them doing a New Zealand map and not having Fallow Deer. Everybody wants to hunt Fallow Deer on another map. It's a thing. It's a thing people have talked about. It's a thing that's been requested for a long time. And to me, this just seems like the perfect opportunity for them to get that out of the way and put Fallow Deer on another map. And I would love to see that. I would love to be able to grind Fallow Deer on a New Zealand map. That would be absolutely incredible. Honestly, it's it's probably the species that I would like to see the most outside of maybe Tar, because I really do want to see Tar on a New Zealand map. But so yeah, basically Red Deer pretty much confirmed with that teaser trailer. Sick of Deer, we got, you know, that Instagram post with the picture of the deer that looked very much like a very large Sika Deer. Uh, maybe we get both. Maybe we get Whitetail and Fallow Deer. I don't know. Maybe we're getting, you know, maybe it's uh, maybe it's a deer heavy map and we get both. I don't know. That would be awesome. I mean, maybe we get like five deer species. Maybe we get Sambar Deer too. I feel like if we're going to see Sika Deer, we're probably not going to see Sambar Deer. You know, because there's going to be Red Deer for one thing. And then we're probably going to have either Fallow or Whitetail. So unless they load up this map with Deer... I feel like we're probably not going to see Sandbar Deer, which is a shame. I love Sandbar Deer. I would love to see Sandbar Deer on a map in Call of the Wild. But yeah, basically, at the end of the day, what it comes down to for me is uh, if I have to pick... We got some bulls out there. If I have to pick between the two, Whitetail or Fallow Deer, I'm going with Fallow. So yeah, it doesn't look like I have Whitetail here anymore. I had a pretty decent zone here. I had... Uh, I had a few does and a buck at one point. I think the last time I saw Whitetail here, I just had a single doe. And I'm pretty sure I did kill that doe. And here they are. Okay, we came back to this lake. We came back. I was convinced these guys would be back. And that is a very nice buck. 196 to 243. That might be our respawn from that real nice buck that we had up here. We're going to have more coming in. This is a good, good herd I have up here. So... We get a little bit closer here. Zero for 164. We got him about 230 out. We'll try to close that gap to around 200. And let's see if we can take out a few bucks. I don't have any hunting pressure here at all. So we're good to take out three. And that's probably exactly what we're going to do. I think we're going to take out these three. We got them, all three of them perfectly broadside. Should be easy enough to do. We'll just sweep left to right here. Couldn't quite pull it off, but we got the two of them. <laughs> I'll take it. Two out of three ain't bad. That's what they say, right? And somehow... What? Somehow I just took out a doe. I guess that third... I'm going to have to go back and watch that. Somehow that third shot insta-dropped a doe. That's interesting. I was definitely not aiming for a doe. I'll take it. <laughs> got a 106. Very small buck there, but we'll take it. And this guy's actually a 232.3, which is a really, really nice buck. Got a double lung on that shot there. Okay, perfect. Let's move on. Let's move on here. So we got Whitetail up there. We got a mating call. At least we got a we got a doe anyway. We got a doe. And I think the last time I was here, I did only have a single doe. So we might just have the one respawn. I'm not really sure. But I do have to correct myself because I did say something that was incorrect that I was just thinking about. There has been one map that had more than two deer species on the map and that is Parque Fernando. Parque Fernando's got red deer, mule deer, and axis deer. So we haven't we have seen a map with three. We have not seen a map with four though. I don't know how big of a map New Zealand is gonna be. I feel like it's probably gonna be quite huge. If we are getting New Zealand, I think you know I think we're all pretty much certain it's pretty much confirmed now that we are getting New Zealand, I do believe it was confirmed that the next map is not going to be England. So that takes that out of the equation. But that pretty much covers the topic. It pretty much covers everything I wanted to say. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it down in the comments. If you'd rather see Fallow or Whitetail, if you had to pick, obviously we would all love to see both more than having to pick one. But if you did have to pick, let me know what you guys would rather see and why. Like, what would for what reason? Why would you rather see Whitetail? 
why would you rather see fallow let me know down in the comments you guys but i hope you guys did enjoy this video and take care guys Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and drop a like on this video. I appreciate it and it really does help the channel so much. If you're new around here or you just haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. We have some awesome content on the way as well as streams every day. So please consider hitting that like button. Feel free to join the Discord. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description as well as the link to my Patreon account. Be safe, take care, and I will see you guys in the next one.